uh, ABC7 has learned Sony Pictures has agreed to a limited release of its film, The Interview, on Christmas Day. Independent theaters, including one in Ashburn, Virginia, say they will show the film. This is just days after the hacking of Sony Pictures prompted the scrapping of national release plans. As Kai Jackson reports, that's a decision that's fired up a debate over the First Amendment and movies. The First Amendment in the Bill of Rights is seen by some as one of the most sacred of our constitutional rights. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise therefore of or abridging the freedom of speech. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? It's communism versus constitutional rights after some movie theaters pulled the film titled The Interview. Others will now show it in limited release. Arch Campbell is a veteran film critic. Is it a good idea to really suggest uh, assassinating a world leader, uh, even in a comedy? Um, I don't think so. Some argue that while free speech is a right that must be protected, it's equally important to consider public safety. I do think that if a theater genuinely felt that they were gonna get hurt there, that they had a right to, to pull it. Some legal experts believe this could be the beginning of trampling on other constitutional rights of filmmakers. What North Korea has learned is that they can stop a movie. It was made for a purpose and it didn't have any bad intentions. Is shelving a film really an issue of blocking free speech in America? Well, some in the film industry say that depends on how you look at it. Arch Campbell believes pulling the film was driven by fear of being liable if something violent happened in theaters and the financial bottom line. Follow the money. If they couldn't get their money back, uh, they weren't gonna release it. To assemble and to petition the government for a, a redress of grievances. Kai Jackson, ABC 7 News.